I am a woman, but my profession as a relationship expert have made me stand for both men and women. Domestic violence have been overrated by women. Women have now seen it and used it as a weapon to fight the men because they understand that the society frowns at it. But there is one constant research that we have not done, one constant lie that we have continually lied to ourselves. What causes domestic violence? Some people will say, oh no, there is nothing a woman should do that should make a man hit her, no matter what, no matter la la la. We get this every day, but that's a lie we continually tell ourselves. Because people who come public to constantly tell you this lie also beat their women. They are victims of their own words. We are hypocrites in this country. Because we do not bring out things from the roots, we cut it from the branches. What causes domestic violence? What makes this man constantly hit this women? That's one truth women have never said. I, one truth a lot of us have denied. Yes. Now, I have done my research. Now, if we have 100% of women, 65% to 70% of women trigger domestic violence. Yes, I said it. Women trigger domestic violence 65% of them do how do they trigger domestic violence verbal abuse they abuse this man mentally the craziest thing about the society africa we have found ourselves in is that if you don't cry and you don't bleed people believe that you don't feel pain they forget about the mental pain they put inflict on you they feel that the only time you feel pain is when you cry and when you bleed that's why the women have taken an advantage. Domestic injury and they cry. That's why it looks as if, oh, the women are suffering. Men are suffering too. The difference is that they cannot cry. And sometimes they do not allow themselves to bleed for the fear of being called a coward. How is a man's face going away and say, my wife beats me, my wife blow me, my wife slap. Even if the wife beat and blow and slap and he will swallow him because he wants to be a freaking man. What about the mental health? What about what goes on in their head? What about what you have said to them? You're stupid. You're an idiot. You're a bastard. One minute man. Poor man. Poverty. You have abused this man mentally. The difference is that you have not seen them cry and you have not seen them bleed, but they bleed every time in their head when they remember these things. Can I shock you? Mental and verbal abuse lasts longer and is even more powerful, more violent than physical abuse. When people beat you, if they don't inflict injury on you, the pain goes away naturally. It's like when they flog you with the king. But when you abuse people mentally and verbally, that shit sticks in their head and it rings a bell and begins to play like an audio and a video in their head. That's what we women do to our men. We mess with their head. But because they don't cry and because we don't see blood, we feel that we don't do anything. When you are done telling them you're a bastard, you're an idiot, you're an illiterate, you go back and you say, baby, I'm sorry. Let us be realistic and stop lying to ourselves. How many men have this patience to be able to condemn a woman, abuse them verbally without doing anything? What about the women that will be abusing a woman, a man verbally? And the man wants to take a walk and avoid the drama. And she goes and locks the door and tells the man you cannot do anything. You will kill me today. What do you want the man to do? For him to sit down and be correcting the insult of your mind, your stupid, your bastard, everything. Let's tell ourselves the truth. There are two things about a man and a woman. A man has might, a woman has mouth. The only way a man can show he's a man is by raising his mind, is by showing you how powerful he is. The only way a woman can show she's a woman is our mouth. We talk 247. We express ourselves more by talking, but men don't talk. Men also suffer domestic violence too. They are bleeding in their head. They are, that's why they die quickly. They don't know how to express themselves. If we must reduce domestic violence, women, we must bridle our tongues. We need to reduce verbal abuse. Yes, just that the law in this country does not have law for that. You assault people, you call them names, you push them, you do a whole lot of things to them. And when they want to react by beating you, we tell them to be men, be a man. Why can't you be a woman and shut up your mouth? If you want a man to be a man and not beat you up, be a woman and zip your mouth. Men, hold your mouth. 
Women, zip your mouth. Yes. It's high time we begin to control our tempers. Men, control your temper. Do not hit your woman. Women, control your mouth. Stop running your mouth. Yes. You don't expect to give people dagger. You don't expect to kill people. And expect them to just sit down and be looking at you. The humans. Men have blood flowing through their veins. They don't tell me about maturity. They're humans. Because when these men keep quiet for the first, you are mad. You tell them you are stupid, they keep quiet. You tell them you are a bastard, they keep... You keep repeating it. And they keep taking it. They are human. They have blood flowing through their veins. Women have told men things that is enough to kill a human being. They are suffering mentally. They can't even voice out. Society would not even listen to them because they are supposed to be a man. Women, please. I am begging you. If domestic violence must reduce, let us bridge our tongues. 65 of women who suffer domestic violence give the men their bad abuse. The remaining ones, it might just be a man trying to show his might, or a man just being wicked, or a man just being heartless. But 65 to 70 percent of women abuse men verbally. That's what causes domestic violence. Tell yourself the truth. Let us all work on ourselves. Be a man. You to be a woman. Oh God, hold your might. Madam, shut up your mouth. This thing is supposed to be equal. Let it not be one-sided. Enough of that. Men are also human beings. Now, person born them too. 